A line is a one-dimensional object since it only has length. A square, circle, triangle, and so on are all two-dimensional objects since they have a length and height. A sphere, cube, pyramids are all three-dimensional objects since they have a length, width, and height. Everything around us is in three dimensions, so we live in a 3D world. Tables, books, phones, and so on. A piece of paper is 3D even though its height is just extremely small. But what if you crumple that piece of paper up and turn it into a ball-like shape? It can't be a 3D object since it doesn't occupy the same amount of space as a sphere its size would. It's not a 2D object since it has a length, width, and a height. And it's clearly not a 1D object. In fact, it lies somewhere between the second and third dimension. Its dimensions are represented by a fraction or decimal, like 2.5D or 2.156D. But wait, what does it even mean to have a decimal amount of dimensions? Well, these special shapes are known as fractals. They have a very unique property, which is that they are never-ending patterns. No matter how much you zoom in or out, they'll always repeat itself. Although they seem unnatural, they are very much real. Coastlines, snowflakes, that crumpled piece of paper are all examples of fractals. Even making a fractal is a very easy thing to do. A simple example is to draw a triangle, then draw two more triangles the same size as the original and join them at corners. Then take this new shape and repeat the previous steps. Doing this an infinite number of times creates a fractal. No matter how much you zoom in, it always repeats itself. To create a fractal, you just need to start with a shape, duplicate it, apply any rule, and then repeat this process. One of the most famous fractals is the Mandelbrot set. It is formed by the addition and multiplication of numbers in the complex plane. I did lie at the start though when saying we live in a 3D world. Much of this world is also composed of fractals.